Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming back over to the DFS 5-Pack. Uh, we've touched on the NBA already today. Uh, it's a busy day in the world of sports, at least if you're a daily fantasy sports player. So we got the NBA this afternoon. Uh, we got two separate slates of baseball to talk over since we got three games on the first one. will be our day, first day slate on the weekday of baseball that we'll be talking about. A uh, lot to be excited about. Uh, Bellman will join me momentarily. We'll go through some members-only videos and touch on some night nice baseball as well. In the meantime... If you look in the description section below this video, you're going to find a link to the Twitter profile for Overlay DFS. Uh, everybody that's up there, guys, go follow them today. Go give them the follow. Uh, you can see access to their website right here. Because of the YouTube rules, I am not allowed to keep a link for websites like that below. It's a silly rule, but the rules are the rules. So click on their Twitter profile, follow them. That's how you get to the website. Uh, congrats to Dom first night playing for ADF. Uh, we had Fantasy King 1 going for the 20K last night. The NBA contest for the $22 one has a big $20,000 jackpot if you can find a way to go 12-0, and 0, which would be exciting for uh, anybody who did that. I would be very, very jealous. I would love to get there myself. So that being said, let's touch on the three-game slate of baseball on DraftKings and talk about some of the guys that are in play today, and we will go from there. All right, uh, you're catching this early in the day. If you go by a day pass, they're up on the website. We have three slates to cover today, two baseball and one NBA. You get all three of them. So five bucks gets you all the members only videos, all the write-ups for the day. The NBA video is already out. We are ready to rock and roll, just waiting on some more information. We'll put the write-up out. Uh, again, only five bucks gets you everything. Otherwise, monthly, lifetime, annual customers, you get all the sports that are applicable to you at that time. Subscribe to the station if you are new to it. And of course, if you're willing to click the thumbs up button, I do sincerely appreciate it. All right, so let's talk about pitching today. And I'm excited to get on the members only videos with Matt and talk these pitchers out because I think there's some, uh, some real positives and benefits to a couple of them. One guy that's shortlisted for me is going to be Kyle Freeland of the Colorado Rockies at only 7,200. I like the fact that he's a little bit cheaper today because in this specific slate, it does make a difference to me if I can save $1,000 here and there because there are some high-priced bats that we'll get into that I really want on my roster today. So Kyle Freeland was awful last year in his sophomore, sophomore-ish type of campaign because uh, he did have kind of a half of a rookie season, so whatever you want to call it. He was bad last year, right? Definitely took a big step back. He looks a lot better to start the year this year. Game is in Colorado, which we know is not a great place to pitch. However, we just did see him with a dominant second start of the year against a significantly better San Diego Padres team. Uh, and one of the things to remember about Kyle Freeland, like this guy's good. This is a good pitcher. Was fourth in the Cy Young buddy, excuse me, fourth in the Cy Young voting in 2018. So there is a lot of talent. There is quality pitching there. Sometimes young guys just take a step back briefly like he did last season, but he was a little better down the stretch. Uh, so I like the cap space that he offers today. And even though I want to give some Giants credit for starting the season uh, better than most people would have expected, we know they're not a very good baseball team. So uh, he's in a good spot here today to get the dub. Uh, I'm not somebody who ever plays for the W on DK, but when I do feel confident that he's in a good opportunity to get it, it's not the worst thing to bring it up. Um, again, I like the spot form outside of being Coors Field. I mean, if he was in San Francisco today, this would be lock and load, easy pick. Uh, he's missing a lot of bats to start the year and getting a lot of weak contact. So you're, you're less worried than normal with a guy like Kyle Freeland. I get anybody being reticent to pitch a guy going in Coors. Now it is only a three game slate. So, uh, one third of the pitchers are pitching in Coors today, which, you know, is a little bit of a detractor, but I like that cap space because there are some high price bats. I want to roster today. For example, my top priority at bat today is going to be Nolan Arenado, uh, his teammate, who has started to lock in over the last three days. He has a home run and no strikeouts in three straight games. He's clearly seen the ball really, really well. Plus, he is at home today against a left-handed pitcher. We all know this about Nolan Arenado. He is the premier, if not at least one of the premier hitters against lefties in all the game of baseball. Uh, he's also just one of the premier players in the entire game of baseball. Uh, and I trust him to take on his former teammate more than I trust his former teammate to take on him. He's been watching Tyler Anderson pitch for, you know, the last few years. He knows that this guy has to offer. He will be able to sit on what he wants from that lefty today. And at 5,600, uh, I think he's got a good possibility of making it four for four. I'm not going to call for the home run right here, but 
Uh, he's a strong candidate to go yard today out of all the guys that are up on this slate. So I want Nolan Arenado on my team, especially in cash games. Next up, Scott Heineman of the Texas Rangers. So I'd love to sit here and tell you guys I have a real astute analytical breakdown about why you have to play Heineman today. But quite frankly, the first three bullet points what this is all about. He's only 2,700. you got to scroll all the way down to find him. Um, this is all about helping us build a better roster today and finding some of the rare cap space that's applicable to you. I don't like wasting an outfield spot on him today, but there aren't a lot of other really cheap hitters. And he's been in the starting lineup for the Rangers most of the days. So Fires is not one of the stronger pitchers on the slate. I'm not scared to pick on him, uh, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you like I'm calling for a huge day for Heineman. What this does here allows you to roster a guy Assuming he's in the starting lineup today at only 2,700, that will allow you to pay for some of these better hitters that we want in our lineup. For example, Nolan Arenado, who we just discussed. So this is 100% about the cheap price and what he offers us on the build today. Uh, the other expensive guy I have a lot of desire to get into my roster is none other than the world's greatest baseball player, uh, Mike Trout. I'm sure you all know who this guy is. Apparently being a dad agrees with him. Because since he's been back for two games now, he's gone yard three times. He has always owned Seattle. He specifically owns Seattle starter today, Taiwan Walker, 9 to 14 in his career with three strike or three home runs off of him. Uh, because of his price tag, because I do think some people will look at Taiwan Walker today and his cheap price tag, it should keep Trout's ownership down. And what I mean by down is down by the lofty standard of what you would expect from Mike Trout on a three game slate. We've had plenty of three-game slates the last couple of years where Mike Trout is overwhelming chalk because he's the best player on the slate. But because there is Coors Field in play in a really good spot, specifically for the Rockies, it should keep him down for Mike Trout on a three-game slate. He won't be single digits or anything like that. Uh, he'll just be lower than he might be normally in this situation. I like him in cash games. I like him in GPPs. He's another guy. Got a nice probability of going yard today, at least as far as the low standards of probability for going yard. Uh, it's Mike freaking Trout, right? I don't think I need to sit here and give you guys too many superlatives about what you know greatness this guy is. Uh, we all know how great he is, and I want him on my roster today if I can find a way to swing that very high price tag of his. All right, last up, another outfielder we're going to go after today is going to be Matt Kemp of the Colorado Rockies. He is a very affordable piece of Coors Field today. I expect him to be extremely popular given the price tag. We all know that for his career, Matt Kemp is another guy who has always hit left-handed pitching very effectively. Uh, he's only 4K today. Expect him to be in the lineup with Tyler Anderson on the mound. Uh, in his career, he's 5-16 of 16 with two bombs off Anderson. Not overwhelming, uh, but just another reason that you may want to take a look at him. This is a lot about the price tag. This is a lot about the Rockies being in a really good spot on paper. In fact, he's very, very affordable. Expect him to be chalkier for cash games, which if you want a tournament fade him, Completely on board with that, but he's definitely a guy that I look to roster within my cash game format today. Matt Kemp of the Colorado Rockies, who's always been a strong hitter of left-handed pitching. All right, guys, that's what we got for today. We still got night baseball coming up. We got overlay evaluation coming up. We got members only videos coming up. Go grab yourself a day pass and we can get those videos and write-ups out to you. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you guys in just a little bit.